where you can see if you follow a ridge, it goes in one side, out the other. Kara Marquez teaches forensic science to students at Carl Wunschy Senior High School in Spring ISD. But by looking at how the patterns are distinct... This like fingerprinting this lesson is a hands-on activity that highlights the relevance of science and scientific methods to students who may be interested in law enforcement career pathways. I think that she has a radio art. To see the kids get excited, it's a magical moment to see their faces light up and realize that they're doing something that matters or when the pieces come together in their minds. It's, it's just really exciting that they enjoy what they do. There's no right or wrong answer to that. Ms. Marquez's class has come to the Spring Creek Greenway to meet someone who uses forensic science in his work all the time. It's the then up to the individual print examiner to match A with B. It doesn't happen like it happens on television. You still have to have that individual pair of eyes by that fingerprint examiner looking at the one comparison print with the one that they have on file. And sometimes it can take hours to do that. It just depends upon how many examples you've got. Senior Inspector Thomas Petty has spent nearly two decades with the Harris County Fire Marshal's Office and has taught at the National Fire Academy at Emmitsburg, Maryland. And I want to gently tap it and let the dust fall on the spoon. On this day, his class is made up not of federal agents, but high school students from right here in Spring ISD. Turn your flashlight on the underside of that. Okay. Now look at it through that small one. Oh, that's perfect. He's a professional. He lives it. He breathes it. He teaches this to other professionals, and it's good for the students to experience what a professional would actually experience. In addition to fingerprinting, Inspector Petty gave demonstrations about matching up specific tools with the marks they leave behind at crime scenes and the challenges of recovering and matching DNA. That's a pretty good sample. It can be a tedious and time-consuming process. Trying to get them to think outside the box. It's not necessarily what's been portrayed on the CSI programs, though that is fiction. It doesn't get solved in 47 and a half minutes in prime time. There's a lot of schooling, there's a lot of education, there's a lot of training that goes into that. So hopefully these exercises for the one or two hours will give the kids a little bit of a practical experience, a little taste for what it's like dealing with forensic science in the history and the criminology. Blue team and green team, you will work scene two. Inspector Petty has the students investigate mock crime scenes outside the Spring Creek Greenway. The students are required to sketch each scene, document the evidence found, and recommend testing for each specific item recovered. Make sure you get everything, because just like in a crime scene, you don't get a second bite of the apple. You do not get a chance to come back, because once it's gone, it's gone. There's a lighter. Do you want to put it for testing? You can check the manufacturer. You have to do those over there. Okay, turn it around. Okay, I got it. These are pretty quick kids. They're pretty smart. They already kind of know what's, what's actual fiction and what it's fact. But it's interesting when I tell them a couple other tangential aspects about what this particular piece of evidence can reveal, where they thought, oh, well, I could just put that in for fingerprints. Well, that's fine, guys, but maybe because somebody has touched it, maybe there are skin cells or maybe there's part of the... Uh, uh, something that's rubbed off on a person that's handled it and as a result they can do a DNA test on that. Well, what types of tests do you do? Item H, we would like to submit uh, for fingerprints as well as um, DNA testing. It looks like that lesson was well learned. The team that found a lighter outside are requesting lab work for DNA from skin cells in addition to possible fingerprints. Like when your finger, like you're, you know how you could get stuff like off you of your striper wheel. Yeah, the yeah. striper wheel. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of hard work and there's a lot of training that's involved in this. And they have to understand when you're talking about literally obtaining evidence, especially if you bring it to a criminal prosecution, that can make or break a case and that may be a determining factor in whether this person goes free or serves 20 years to life. So it's absolutely critical that they understand this. This isn't games, this isn't science fiction, this is real life and it's absolutely critical because in crime scene investigation more and more science is being employed and they have to know how to properly use it. This is scene one. These types of ongoing exercises with Wunchie's many community and business partners Three minutes. provide students with the information they need okay, good. as they continue to make their own investigations about their future career possibilities.